Given the sort of show that Grey's Anatomy is, it felt inevitable that there would be some sort of cliffhanger at the end of it. Now the question here became what sort of cliffhanger we were ultimately going to get. Was it one that was in some way satisfying? Well let's go ahead and get into it. The top story entering the finale was what was going to happen with Meredith's research project, which unfortunately ran into a lot of hurdles. The biggest one, that they did a lot of their work behind Catherine's back. And rather than hand in their work to Korosik, they opted to publish an abstract online. Did they make a big move towards stopping Alzheimer's someday? Absolutely. But at the same time, the two of them no longer have their jobs. The same goes for Teddy. Now, does all of this mean that Meredith could be back more next season? Given that she is settling into a house elsewhere now with Nick, it's hard to count on that. But it is also still possible. Meanwhile, the hospital has to figure out how to move forward if some of their best surgeons are now gone, given that this feels like it would open up a massive can of worms in its own right. Can you really keep the place running without some of the best possible people in your employ? It's a problem. Well, for starters, Joe is pregnant but has yet to pass along that news to Link. Meanwhile, Jules and Yasuda got fairly close to kissing. But this isn't a relationship to get too invested in right now. After all, Midori Francis will be exiting at some point next season. What do you think? Tell us in the comments and keep watching Film Buff Baby.